We have new information tonight about the attack by three teens that put a Logan County deputy in the hospital. Three others are now charged in connection with the escape. Alexa Ashwell has the investigation update. No, they need to get there now. They're still calling for help. It's crazy over there. It all started Tuesday evening with a chapstick when a teenager went to the sheriff on duty to ask him for lip balm. It apparently created enough of a distraction for 15-year-old Danny Ellis Jr. and 17-year-old Caleb Jacobs to attack Deputy Tim Klingelhofer. They're hitting him in the face several times. This is as, as brutal as you're going to see. There's no sound on the surveillance video, but some of the chaos is captured by a call dialed to 911, left off the hook. Oh, my God. Oh my God, get somebody there. I can just get somebody there. Like, they're all yelling and it's, it's awful. Oh my God, Allie. Oh my God. Officials say 15-year-old Devontae Smith watched the beating and then grabbed the keys used to unlock the fire escape. The trio pulled the fire alarm, then took off. I think someone's missing. Like, I think that there's a kid missing. Deputies believe the teens would try to make their way to Florida, but they didn't get far. Ellis and Smith were arrested Wednesday afternoon in Cincinnati. A stolen car was also recovered, and Columbus SWAT arrested Jacobs just two hours later. Three women are now also facing charges. 30-year-old Stephanie Johnson, Jacob's cousin, was arrested for obstruction. 24-year-old Catherine Sign, Jacob's girlfriend, complicity to escape. And 27-year-old Stormy Kaiser, obstruction of justice. Two News has learned the teenage boys will be brought back to Logan County in the next few days. Ellis and Smith were being held for parole violations. Jacob's on a burglary charge out of Florida. But now all three are facing felonious assault. Assault escape and aggravated rioting. I'm Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.